Hi, I'm Tess from the IT Crafty Place and I'm going to give you a block printing demonstration and show you just how easy it is to print your own fabric or paper using an Indian printing block. So I'm using our large funky bird design and I'm going to be practicing onto a piece of white cotton fabric using textile paint but this is exactly the same method as if you're printing onto paper or card as well. So when you block print, it's very important to have something soft underneath you. So that's why I've got a green mat underneath my fabric. Now you could use a towel or newspaper, something soft so that when you print, you've got a little bit of give. You don't want to be printing straight onto a hard surface. And you always have your foam printing mat underneath the fabric or paper you're printing onto. Now I've also got a dry rack. This is what we use to clean the blocks in between printing with different colours. You don't need to wash them in between each colour. I've got my paint tray, two sponges and two fabric paints. I'm using pink and turquoise blue paint. Now when you block print, you dip your sponge in the paint and you tap off the excess. What you don't want is any big blobs of paint on your sponge as that will go straight into design. And then you hold your block flat and lightly tap the paint all over the block, making sure that you're not wiping or squeezing the paint onto the design as that will go in the detail. So just lightly all over. And then you turn your block upside down and you just apply gentle pressure all over. You don't want to indent it into your mat. You just want to give it a nice wiggle so you're getting all the edges. Hold your fabric or paper and then pull up. And you can see I've got really nice clear design. So you want to apply more paint each time you print. Otherwise you get a very dull print. So make sure each time you want to print, you apply more paint with your sponge, just tapping lightly all over the surface. Now turn this upside down again and give it a wiggle, getting all the edges and then up. Now to change colour, you use your dry cloth and you just wipe off the excess paint. You don't need to wash it or anything in between using different colours. Now I'm going to do the same again with the pink paint. So dip my sponge in the paint, tap off the excess and lightly tap all over the block. Turn it upside down and give it a wiggle. And then because you wiped all the previous colour off, you won't have any mixing. So I've got a nice clear pink print there. Tap, tap on again. Turn it upside down and give it a wiggle. When you finish with your Indian printing block, just wipe off the excess paint and leave it to dry. You can always wash them under the tap with hot soapy water at the end of the day to get any paint out the detail. Now I was using a fabric paint here, so this requires heat setting with an iron, but if you're using paper paint such as acrylic onto paper and card, you just allow it to dry. Hopefully you've seen just how easy block printing is and hopefully it's inspired you to have a go at printing your own fabric and paper. Thanks very much and hope you enjoyed the video.